Good morning. This is Bill from Out of Europa, Naples, and today I have this very attractive fifth generation BMW 5 Series. Uh, this is the E60 chassis. Uh, it was a bangle design, but by 2009, the controversy around the bangle design had uh, muted the, uh, you know, the stuff that really bothered people and really focused on the stuff that didn't. So uh, by this time, the car, uh, you know, really didn't offend anyone <laughs> cosmetically. Uh, and of course, there are some people who really loved the bangle design, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were few and far between. Uh, this particular example is shocking in terms of its preservation. Uh, it's, uh, again, 2009, has only 20, we got a woodpecker over there somewhere, ducks. I'll keep an eye. Hopefully they don't come this way. Uh, anyway, uh, this 2009 has 27,000 miles on it and has been remarkably well preserved. Uh, it became a uh, Naples condo car at one point. Uh, it started up north. I think it spent a summer or two up there uh, and then quickly came down here. So uh, not only is it a remarkably preserved 5 Series, it's also got the X-Drive system uh, all-wheel drive, which makes it uh, just a really rare bird. Most of these X-Drives uh, had winter duty up north and were beat to hell. Uh, this thing's not. Underneath, all around, it's in immaculate condition. Uh, it's finished in a sort of a steel gray color outside. It's got charcoal leather inside, and it's very, very attractive. Uh, it's also extremely well appointed, and uh, it's got the uh, 35, which is a, a three liter a turbocharged six cylinder, uh, which makes it an absolute blast to drive. It's kind of like the family truckster for guys who really want a 135 or a 335, but uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, made some decision that they probably now regret to have children and uh, they have to have a four seat uh, or, you know, vehicle. So uh, anyway, you can see everything looking nice all around. Uh, very, very proper, very clean, uh, beautiful alloy wheels, big brakes under the, uh, under the wheels of this thing. On uh, the back, you see the parking sensors, those uh, LED rope style taillights, uh, and uh, big twice pipes down low. I can look inside the trunk. Uh, so nice big trunk in this. You know, again, this is a competitor to the Mercedes-Benz Z class, so it's got to have a big trunk. Uh, you fit a load of suitcases in there, crates of ammo, uh, you know, really whatever you need to get in. You see I've got the donuts for the guys. Must be Friday. Uh, my bag of crap. we got the original floor mats here. BMW floor mats tend to disintegrate really quickly, so the fact that these look as good as they do uh, sort of belies the age of this car. Uh, versus the way it's been kept. We also have a little, you know, famous BMW fold down first aid and toolkit there with uh, everything nice and as it should be. And they do give you great little stuff in the trunk, like uh, these little guys so you can, you know, slap bungee cords around them. You got a little net thing over here. Uh, you know, if you need to tie your cargo down, if you're one of these really anal people who has to have everything, you know, just so, then this is the car for you. And of course it was built by people like that. So, uh, you know, really kindred spirits at BMW for the anal retentive set. Okay, so under the hood here is where there's going to be a fantastic motor. If I can ever find the hood release, I've gotten much worse at that. Uh, I used to have a knack for hood releases, and for some reason that's vanished on me. So yeah, I'm still, I mean, I opened this thing 10 seconds ago. Where the hell is it? There it is. All right, so anyway, inline six, twin turbocharged. The first uh, incarnation of this motor had a few issues that were a little bit troubling. Uh, I can't remember what they are. We have a BMW tech who went over it with me in such a way that my eyes glazed over. Uh, but uh, anyway, he said by 09, BMW had addressed all the stuff that uh, was, uh, you know, disconcerting on these and they became very bulletproof. Uh, and again, this is 300 horse twin turbocharged six cylinder. Uh, inline six is one. Of, it's one of the most fantastic engine designs of all time. Uh, it's smooth. It's reliable. Uh, it's uh, it's just a very well built engine. And, and unfortunately, you don't see them anymore. One of the reasons is it's kind of a long engine, and everyone's trying to make the cabins bigger and the front and rear end smaller. So, uh, not to mention fuel mileage. So uh, this thing it could be a twelve cylinder for its length. You put another one beside it, all of a sudden you got a twelve. So it is a long engine. 
Uh, so it's really sad to see the, uh, you know, the slow end of the uh, inline six. And I think it's going to make these things more desirable as time goes on. Uh, you can see they give you this great uh, little place to jumpstart the car if you need to and uh, remote from the battery, wherever the hell that is in the car. <clears throat> and uh, anyway, everything real nice under the hood here. I have a look in the back seats. So back here, I don't think anyone ever sat in this car in the rear. Uh, absolutely mint, lovely, beautiful charcoal leather in this car. Nice and soft to the touch. Uh, you know, when you stuff your Canadians back here, they're going to have no complaints at all. <clears throat> Even the way the rear seats are formed to give uh, optimum leg room is pretty clever. You know, that's an engineering feat. So you get some NBA stars back here, they're probably going to fit. They may be a little uncomfortable, but uh, they'll be just fine for a while. You also get uh, this big crazy center console here with, uh, let's see if my detailer got in there. Actually, it looks like he did. God bless him. He must be watching these videos and getting tired of me beating him up. But uh, anyway, uh, you got some vents back there, a couple of 12-volt outlets and everything nice. Uh, door panel wise, beautiful fit and finish on this car. Lovely burl wood up there, lovely black leather here. Uh, you know, BMW really did a fantastic job appointing this thing. <clears throat> you know, when it was new, it cost about the same as a Cadillac uh, uh, V series, you know, the, uh, the, the real hot rats from Cadillac. But, uh, you know, those things were expensive because of the drivetrain. Uh, this thing got expensive because of the appointments and, uh, you know, the engine, not that it's cheap, but it isn't, you know, what Cadillac was doing. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's the difference of the car. So when you get in the Cadillac, a lot of the stuff feels kind of plasticky and, uh, you know, cheaper. Uh, when you get in this BMW, it feels much more high end, much more high quality and, uh, frankly, just a much lovelier place to sit. I like that big shark fin antenna up top. Okay, up front, you can see we've got dual power leather seats, you know, 16-way adjustable, 12-way adjustable, whatever they are. They give you a lumbar and side support. You got memory, uh, you know, very, very nice. You got, uh, again, I haven't touched the leather in this car. Uh, it's exactly original and as it came, and we barely even have any entry rear there. Uh, that just belies this thing's 27,000 miles. Uh, you know, again, lovely fit and finish. You got side airbags. You got uh, everything you need kind of where you need it. And uh, it's just a, a sweet place to be. So let's hop in. All right, to start this thing up, we're going to take the key, slide it into that guy, foot on the brake, and tap that. And it does that infernal BMW binging at you. God, do I hate that sound. And it keeps going like two or three past where it should. All right, that's off. Okay, so now you can see a uh, very nice, uh, you know, for a car that there were a lot of complaints about the uh, technology in it. And again, this thing is built by engineers for engineers. Uh, that said, it does have a very nice, simple instrument cluster. Uh, very classic BMW with the orange backlighting. You can see you've got your uh, tack on the right, your miles per hour. You know, that thing looks a bit like a Breitling chronograph. The, uh, uh, you know, the kilometers on the inside, the miles on the outside. You've got your fuel tank at the bottom. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to read, uh, you know, in a pinch and uh, at a glance. And uh, just a very nice, classically laid out uh, BMW instrument cluster. <clears throat> You've got your automatic headlights here, your fogs, your dimmer control. Uh, very nice multifunction wheel with lovely leather on it. Nice to grip. Uh, you've got your um, voice control stuff here, volume, uh, Bluetooth controls. Uh, these guys here are programmable buttons. The, uh, the uh, diamond and the star, you can make those uh, quick access to any one of the 980 different screens you can have on the iDrive. So you just have to program them. As to how to program them, I don't have a clue. Uh, you know, I asked someone, he didn't know, nobody knows. Maybe it, maybe it can't be done. I mean, other than it's theoretically possible because that's exactly what it's supposed to be. But uh, anyway, if you can figure it out, you're going to be able to program uh, these things to be quick access to any screen you want on the iDrive. Uh, I like this big hump uh, stuff going on in the uh, uh, top of the dash. The ones that don't have the iDrive have a flat thing here. Uh, you know, of course, this thing does, so you get that. Uh, beautiful wood in the dash, all mint. You know, this thing has just never been beat up in the sun. It's been garage since new. Uh, you can see these stalks here. This is for your power 
uh, steering column up, down, in and out. That'll of course work with the memory seats. Here's your cruise control stuff. Uh, here's your check and your, uh, I don't know what BC stands for, something control, but you can go through different uh, little things and get, you know, various information in the driver information center. Uh, that gives you a date. I don't know. Yeah, probably right. Temperature didn't feel like 69. I'll tell you that much in your clock. Uh, anyway, all very nice and proper. You got the BMW Rondell facing you, which I found out not too long ago is not a spinning propeller. So uh, just very simply the Bavarian flag. Uh, over here, you've got, I don't know, is it easy to use? Uh, maybe. Uh, you know, this is the uh, climate control system. Uh, you got a thermostat on this side, thermostat on this side. The buttons in the middle change the direction of the airflow. Uh, you got your front defrost, your rear defrost. I suppose it's intuitive. Uh, max air, fan. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It's not overly complicated. Uh, down here, you've got the uh, CD and volume portion of the, uh, of the iDrive. So you stuff your CDs in there and uh, gives you FM, AM, go through the different stuff. You got the DVD drive down low for the nav or, you know, to watch your body videos when you're at a parking lot. Uh, lovely, again, wood on this car. Oh, mint. You can see nobody's been poking at it or scratching at it. Uh, you got your dynamic traction control. That's BMW's very advanced traction control. Uh, if you turn it off, you can light up the tires. Maybe not on this one with all-wheel drive, but... Uh, that makes it a bit sportier. Uh, that'll turn off the parking sensors. So if you're in a drive through and it's beeping at you like crazy, you hit that and it'll shut it off. Uh, you got your heated seats. You got this great little, look at that, an actual genuine ashtray in here. So smokers rejoice. You're going to be able to light up in this car without making a mess. Uh, obviously, nobody smoked in this one. Uh, all very mint. So, uh, But anyway, if you want to take it up, you can. Uh, in 09, they came out with this electronic shifter, even though it looks like something from the M3 or from the uh, Z4 with its double clutch stuff, it really isn't. It's just a, an electronic shifter on a very standard uh, ZF six-speed automatic transmission. Uh, you pinch the side to go into drive. You pinch it to go into reverse. When you do that, of course, you get your uh, park sensors. Uh, you tap the P on top to uh, go into park. Now, when you're in drive, you can go over to the left there, and that gives you your manual shifting. So you can slam your way through the six gears, uh, downshift, upshift. It gets very sporty. Uh, this iDrive was new for 09, not the iDrive itself, of course, the, uh, the controls for it. And what they did... I'll tell you what, when a lot of old guys got in this thing, uh, you know, even guys who'd been driving BMWs for years, it had one big mysterious silver joystick, and they didn't have a clue what to do. I mean, it would take 20 minutes to figure out how to, you know, set the radio stations. Uh, cleverly, BMW listened to the... Uh, you know, they listened in sort of an arrogant way to the complaints. At first, they said there was nothing wrong with it. It's all user error. Uh, then they finally did put these clever direct access buttons around it. So, uh, you know, you can very quickly go to your navigation. Well, you can once you get out of your backup camera mode or backup sensor mode. Uh, very quickly go to your telephone, uh, your radio. This does have satellite, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. And weather band if you want to listen to that robotic voice uh, your CD your menus whatnot you hit the main menu button to get that classic iDrive screen where you can then uh, zip it around to how you want it so you want to go over to climate you move that to the left and you can change stuff all around and frankly it is a complicated system I mean you could spend hours just sitting there trying to set everything up the way that you want it to be set up I suppose once you do that it's gonna be fine but, uh, man, I'm trying to picture, like, my dad at 95 <laughs> trying to tune it to his radio station. It just isn't going to happen that easily. But, uh, anyway, there it is. I mean, look at this. You go over, you get all these crazy little... Like, there's a satellite. It looks like the Sputnik. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it, this gives you a ton of information. Over here, trip computer. And all of this is programmable. So, if I want to have two maps, I can have map facing north or map facing... Let's have a map... So now I can have maps moving in different directions as I'm going down the road. That should get confusing. I'm going to keep that. I like that. Uh, here you have these uh, big over-engineered cup holders. These work. Amazing. Uh, if you're gentle on them, they'll keep working. If you're hard on them, forget it. It's over. Uh, in here you got a big glove box. Nice. 
Uh, up top, you've got a uh, self-dimming mirror with Homelink garage door. They've muted that big police bubble. So now it's just the very bottom of it coming out, which looks a bit better. Uh, if the car's getting stolen, that's going to flash like crazy and eh, what have you. you got all your light controls here. SOS if you're lost at sea. Uh, you can open up a big power sunroof. Works good. And uh, everything nice. You also have a place here for what? What do we have? Little place. Ah, so I found a place my detailer didn't get in. That's typical. And let's see. Does this side open up? I don't know. Anyway, you can put stuff in there. Go for a spin, get a little AC going. So I tell you what, driving this car, man, it feels substantial. I mean, it really, really does. You can tell you are not in a cheap vehicle. Uh, these things were north of 60 grand and they feel like it. There is no turbo lag at all from that six. You get instant pep. Of course, it all has variable valve timing, so uh, it really fattens up the rev band. We got a poop and dog there. It's great. And uh, anyway, it's quiet inside. You can tell the insulation is nice. It's really been built to uh, be smooth and lovely. <clears throat> and man, is it more responsive than the, uh, the 528. These nice old guys jogging. Keep going, buddy. Hang in there. All right, so we're coming up to our giraffe somewhere. Let's see if they're out today. Yeah, we got the giraffes over there eating the trees. Hope they eat some of the ducks. Wouldn't it be nice if giraffes ate ducks? We just let them loose around here, and then the ducks wouldn't bother us, or woodpeckers or whatnot. Uh, anyway, when you hammer it, you can see instant red line, tons of torque. You're not getting any wheel spin out of this thing. I mean, all four wheels are gripping the pavement really, really hard. Uh, so it just does accelerate very confidently uh, without any feeling like you're drifting around the place. Uh, steering wheel rock solid. And, you know, this thing, again, has 27,000 miles, and it was run by somebody who, um, you know, really cared. So uh, there's just nothing to complain about. Lovely, lovely. So there it is, a 2009 E60 chassis BMW 5 Series. This is the 535 with the hot motor. Uh, a really, really sweet car, reliable, fun to drive, just a joy to own. And uh, of course, with that X-Drive all-wheel drive system, it's going to be very, very competent in all weather conditions. So uh, if you want to have a nice one up north, uh, you know, call us. We'll ship it up to you. Uh, don't even bother inspecting it or any of that. So don't spend the money. Waste it. Things perfect. Exceptional car. And uh, you'll love it. So... Uh, give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at MercedesExpert.com. Uh, thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.